Everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Trumps channel. Today we do a fun little comparison between two Saber Forts Gladius. This is the Gladius V1 and this is the Cyphus. Um, this is supposedly a newer intermediate version of the V1 Gladius, which is no longer available on the market. And Saber Forts, for fun, had a free giveaway Saber. If you purchased uh, something over about 500 US dollar, you could get one of these sabers for free empty uh, it was uh, an action they did maybe once or twice uh, during the last two years so some people got their hands on the cyphers and um, it's by no means um, looking the same in both these hilts as the 2015 gladius which is also still the current gladius on the market from saberforce so if you go to the saberforce website you want to get a gladius you will pick up one of their newer ones that is slightly different in design and stuff etc now first i want to put something out of the way is that the gladius cyphers is not a direct copy or it's not directly the same exact hilt as the v1 gladius and the reason why I say that for a few things. First of all, you can see a clear seam going over the entire length of the hilt. And I highly suspect this is a recast hilt. So what they did probably, they cut up an original Gladius in half and then use it as a mold to recast these sabers in uh, alloy. And why I say that is because when I bought this second hand, there was a piece broken off of the uh, hilt. And you can see it's a little bit of a brittle material, the alloy. It looks like it's recasted. It's not looking like it comes out of a block of alloy that came straight out of factory that has been graded and whatnot, uh, which this one is. So it's a, it's a recast of this hilt uh, in alloy and it's a lesser, lesser version in my opinion. It also has a slightly few differences between the two hills. Now, first of all, it's a little bit harder to see, but the ridges here, well, so the ridges here are etched off, as you can see. It's a little bit harder to see because it's, uh, it's weathered. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can see it's chamfered on the side. You see it, it, it angles, it arcs down. This one on the original V1 is just all straight. It also have a little bit of arc down here, but a little bit less. This is more of a straight line. It's uh, maybe very subtle, and maybe that's because of the recast, but it really feels like it's less straight here. And um, I also had that uh, with some other lines here. Uh, it's gonna be super hard to show that to you guys actually now I think about it um, also it's let me see if I can do it like this yeah try to look at it well uh, try to explain it so also this part here you have this uh, cutout here it's it's shallower this part is shallower than this part here it's deeper so this rigid here feels much deeper and uh, straight than this part here you see it's less material so this one is not exactly the same it's, it's less deep cut out um, same with this part it's very straight here around the middle section and then here it feels much more rounded off uh, maybe it's a little bit better to see now yeah so it feels thinner and it feels more round on top versus this which is really flat and also um, it's it's kind of funny because on the original V1, this is actually feels less pronounced, less deep, a little bit less, uh, more shallow than this, this here. Maybe I don't know how that comes. And oh, I, actually, I see something else. Is that the case? No, no. And let's see, it just doesn't feel like it's exact same hilt. Um, I think they recasted this hilt, the ciphers from one of these uh, Gladius. Um, I don't know which exactly one, which version, because there's a few minor differences between the, even the V1 Gladius, very minor. So um, it just feels different. Also, of course, the pommel is different. This has uh, fan tools on the back. This one doesn't have it. 
Uh, I prefer this one over the uh, the cutouts because I feel that Saber Force is going uh, a little bit too crazy with all these cutouts and uh, CNC cuts everywhere and the designs and makes the hilt super sharp and uncomfortable to hold. Um, but yeah, the dimensions itself for the rest is exactly the same. The same lengths, um, everything does and feel the same. The weight is very close. I did individual reviews of this Sabre, Sabre so you can see that. Um, nonetheless, uh, really cool Sabres though. Uh, it's a shame they're no longer on the market and Sabre Force does not make them anymore and have them replaced for the 2015 version which does have really cool design elements on the uh, on the emitter section and in the control section here I like the plain look of uh, these hilts by uh, having this all round uh, nothing interference and this cutout for the button I, I do that uh, I personally prefer that um, to each its own of course I also will get a 2015 Gladius so I can also later do a comparison with uh, the 2015 model and I will also probably see if I uh, uh, get uh, get one of the very very early version of the Gladius, which is uh, predating uh, this version, uh, which also had a removable uh, pommel, an emitter. I saw um, it looks very close to this one. Um, I believe this was aligned properly back then, and it, it looks slightly different. It looks like a fake copy of this one. Um, but it was the predated version of this one that Phil Isherwood made himself by hand in I think 2009, 2010 or something, a very early version. Um, it's a fun uh, version as well. Uh, it's definitely not as good as quality of these two, but it, it looked quite fun to pick up as well. So I might do that at, at some point. Um, so yeah, this is Saberford Gladius and the Saberford Cyphos, both two uh, cool sabers, no longer in the market. Um, they're fun, they're fun. They're not very special. Uh, they are supposing one piece hilts, but with this one I feel this is definitely the lesser quality because I feel this is really a recast in alloy and just not as strong and sturdy as this V1 that's cut out of a block of alloy, which is also much more expensive to manufacture than the Cyphers. So my verdict is no, they're not exactly the same. The Cyphers is not a Gladius. It's a cast, a recast of the Gladius. So it's a lesser version of the Gladius, in my personal opinion. It's still a one piece hilt, of course. I don't know why they still don't make this one a uh, apprentice hilt. Um, I mean, it could easily be done. Uh, maybe it's cost wise too expensive, or maybe they just don't want to oversaturate their apprentice line and wait a little bit because uh, maybe this will chew up some uh, of the. Uh, if they bring out this version, maybe it will halt the uh, 2015 cells of the Gladius and that's what they don't want to do it. Uh, it would be cool if they make a Shoto version of this one, it will be fun. I would like to pick one up as well. Uh, if they come out with a Shoto version, I think that would be really fun for my son to have one. Um, but yeah, that is this, this the uh, comparison between the Saberford's uh, Gladius V1 and the Saberford's uh, Cyphos. Hope you liked this little bit uh, of a re, uh, review or comparison view. Um, if you do, make sure to subscribe and like the videos. And as always, thank you for watching and uh, stay scummy guys. Bye bye.